team right now. This is Nina and Cece's behind me and Elise Serfontein, our partner with Stop Rhino Coaching. We are in Pinda, uh, the game reserve managed by and beyond and in a bumpy Jeep, as you can see, heading off to look for rhinos, although we just got word of a male lion, so we might take a little detour to see a big cat, uh, but we will report back later uh, with the black and white rhinos that we hope to see. Hi. <laughs> o'clock at night and we have run into rhinos on our way back to the camp so very lucky Team Rhino, it's Nina checking in from Zimbabwe where I landed yesterday and visiting with our little Rhino Trust partners, Raul Dutoy and Natasha Anderson. And I thought I'd do a little video to share that uh, conservation work isn't always glamorous. Raul and Natasha have been working on keeping the trucks, uh, getting the trucks in shape. These are the trucks that transport rhinos when they have an orphan or when a translocation needs to occur and they uh, need to keep them running constantly in case there's an emergency. Here are the actual crates that they use to transport black rhinos. They're too small for white rhinos and they can fit two of these on that truck which means that saves a lot of time to be able to transport two rhinos at once with these hardy vehicles. Cece and I have moved on. We are now up in the beautiful Belgavon Game Reserve at sunset, about to have our sundowners with rhinos behind us. There are actually a total of four, one we just passed and three in this pasture, uh, along with some other fun critters. There's a cute family of warthogs over there. Let me do a little panoramic scan here for you.
Team Rhino, Nina speaking here. We are in Valdivandim Game Reserve, looking at a couple of white rhinos on a beautiful morning. There's Cece getting some good photos. You want to say hi to Team Rhino, Cece? Not to put you on the spot. Hi, everybody. <laughs> we are, have had an incredible trip visiting with our partners and colleagues and allies and grantees in Africa, learning so much about rhinos and rhino conservation. And it's just incredible to be here seeing these magnificent animals in the flesh. And they're really being very obliging right now.